Hi guys. Hi, good, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Can you guys hear me clearly? Okay, okay. Nice to see you back again today. <laughs> okay. What time is it? Um, okay, I think I'll be late for almost five minutes. So just wait for, I think, one more minute, okay, for everyone to join us. I think I will start soon, okay? How are you guys doing so far? So today is going to be last um, uh, section for Fibonacci MasterCard, okay? So today is going to be conference only, okay? So you have any question, you can ask me. Yes. Okay, maybe end of the webinar, I will bring you guys to the chat and then we will see uh, how to use Fibonacci together. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, so I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Let's just start our webinar for today. Like I mentioned, so today webinar, I'm going to talk about uh, Fibonacci MasterCard conference trading time frame. Actually, Fibonacci, you can draw any time frame. Um, but to me, higher time frame is better. But you can draw like um M15. This is okay as well. I will show you guys later. It depends if you are scalper, you can use uh Fibonacci um on M15, but you still I like to use on uh H1 and H4. Okay. And disclaimer first, guy. Um this um webinar is purely for you can educational only okay if you guys want to trade please please do your own due diligence all right because as you guys already know uh trade cfd is very high risk because of the leverage okay so it's about myself my name is peggy i'm a trade analyst at uh, ever floating group we are partner tv thick meal and uh eft uh finalist for the best epic research and equity research in 2019 20 and 21 and again, today, agenda, I'm going to talk about what is Fibonacci Conference, uh, combining Fibonacci matters and trade management with Fibonacci Confluence and life examples. Okay, so what is Fibonacci Conference? You can see that actually it's a multiple Fibonacci retracement light up together. Okay, do you guys still remember Fibonacci retracement expansion and extension and projection? Actually, it's a combined either two or three at least. And then you can see that, for example, here. Okay, you can see that price is um, all the way down here. And then this level, you can see that there is Fibonacci retracement negative 27. Good day to you too. Okay, there is the key note for uh, Fibonacci expansion. Do you guys still remember? If you want to use Fibonacci expansion, okay, price have to retrace at least how many percent? And then you can use Fibonacci um, expansion, like negative 27 and negative 61.8. Do you guys still remember? Anyone can answer me? Okay, how many percent have to literate at least how many percent for Fibonacci expansion? Okay. Yes, you are right. At least 50%. Yes, you are correct. I'm so glad that you guys still remember. Yes, correct. You remember. Um, if you want to use Fibonacci expansion, it has to 
uh, retrace at least 50%, and then you can use Fibonacci expansion. And over here at this level, the Fibonacci expansion 24.7%, and extension 61.8%, and projection. Uh, extension, sorry, there are two extension here, yeah, seventy eight point six percent, and you can see that price is tap into this zone and then is bounce off from this level. Okay, so second, it's help you to increase probability of the trade, and then it's combined probability retracement, which I just mentioned here. Um, okay, or you didn't attend. Okay, but I'm not sure whether they are um upload on the YouTube. Maybe they are not, but I'm not sure about that. But I think you can ask um support later. Okay. I okay. If you didn't attend, maybe at the end of the um webinar, I can show you guys slightly cap later on the chart. Okay. Yeah. Uh, combining Fibonacci. For example, over here, I use the pen. My <laughs> starting point, okay, and my ending point is here. Okay, I draw, and then you can see that um, projection, okay. It's a projection here, here, okay, and then you get the projection 61.8 percent here. So if you, uh, if you want to draw projection, at least must have three point, okay, projection. Let me um show you to the chart better. For example, okay, for example here. Um, this is my analysis last last week. Okay, for example, if you want to draw projection, okay, it had to be three point like this, for example. Okay, your starting point, you are one, two, and three. Okay, and you want to project, which is I use, um, if you want to use all from here. Okay, you want to know that if I project from here to here, like, like here, for example. So these are the level that I um watch out. When you do projection like this, you know that 61.8% you cannot use already because pi is break above this level. So the only level you can use for um projection, which is, 78.6 and 100% projection. Okay, this is the level. So you want to draw projection, it had to be three point, um, which is like, you no, know, one, two, three. Okay, and then you project here. Meaning that let's say if price um, go to this level, which is 78. 78.6 percent you are expected that price will um revert from that level okay like here and here okay this is called um draw projection okay retracement is really easy guy retracement only have to be only two uh point which is retracement one two okay and then you can see from this one price is um retrace around 23.6 percent for example here okay so this is like like the zone for you to buy for example here why because this is your you to be resistant right and then we wait for the price to pull back and you see price is captured in this zone which is our overlap um support uh, where is my support? Okay. Okay. See? And then price is retraced and bounce off from this level like this. Okay. Okay. Let me know, guys, if you 
um, have any confusion, I will try to explain. Okay, this is how you draw protection. And you can see at this level, we have 61.8 protection and extension 127.20%. So price it tap is this zone and then it's reverse. Okay. So far. Okay, right, guys. And second one, you can see that I draw extension. Okay, I draw extension form. Let me see. Okay, I draw protection first. Okay, I draw protection from here. Okay, set one, second, and third. This is the level I have, which is 100%. Uh, 100% ah, sorry, 100% protection is here. Um, um, okay, I will delete first, not here. Okay, it's here, it's here. 100% protection, and I have uh, extension, which I draw from here, my starting point, ending point, right? And then here is um, extension, one, two, three, and point 20. So we have two, okay? And then you can see that when pi tap in this zone, and it reverses back here. Okay. Second, uh, third one, sorry. I draw um projection. You can see that when I draw projection from here, here to here, I kind of keep note that there is negative 27.2, which is light up with um 127.20, right? So I kind of like um wash out this level that okay, maybe pride will come to this level, it's gonna le reverse from here, right? But then the next level that I'm wash out, which is negative 61.8 and we have extension 161.8 percent so price did not um respect this level is go all the way to this um you can say this is our first resistance and this one could be our second resistance so price break up above this level and then from that it's reverse back so when i use Fibonacci conference or um extension or protection i like to keep these two level okay so let's say it's break above this the next level that i want to sell uh, <laughs> what do you mean too bad for women with trading but my english is bad it's okay as long as you trade and you can make the money from the market, from the forex, that's okay. Have a nice week as well, okay? And second, uh, um, fourth one, okay, so I draw my um, expansion, okay, from here, okay, my expansion is from here to here. Okay, this is my um, expansion 27.2 here. And then you can see that there has the extension negative 27.2, which is this level. Okay, pipe caption and then reverse or bounce off from this level. Okay, protection, I draw from one, one, two, three, and protect here 100% here. Okay, uh, extension, my starting point here, starting point, ending point, and then this is my extension, this level. Okay, how to draw? Let me go back to the slide again. Um, let's go to the GBP. This one, actually, I already TP this morning, this trade. I, you know, I hold a position since last Friday afternoon. Okay. Okay, for example, here, I want to draw retracement. Retracement is just a recap, guy. You draw from your recent low to your recent high here. And then this is the level. Or if you pull out all the retracement here, you can see that. It's zoom in. 
Okay, you two mean. If you were to draw support and resistance, this is the support level. Okay, you can put first support, which is light up with 23.6%, right? Okay, and where is your second support? You can refer to this level here. Okay, so I do my TA, technical analysis, right? I like to sh show only like this one to make it clean. Okay, so this is Fibonacci retracement, right? Okay, here. Okay, now I do my setup. Okay, and this is I'm in H4 time frame, okay? Okay. And after that, from here, I might want to draw the tracement from here for the bigger view. Okay, you can see that probably break 78.6% retracement, so we're not going to use this one, okay? Break above, it invalid anymore. Okay, so... Okay, I draw retracement. What if I want to draw um projection? I don't think we can draw projection from here. Let me see. Okay, now I draw projection. Okay, I will tell you how I get this um the trade. Okay, so I draw projection slowly, guys. Like um. Okay, last week I get the trade right. I sell the GU, so I draw projection. Now I draw retracement because. This is my new high, this is my low, okay? But last week, I did draw projection from, um, from here. One, two, three, three, okay? And you can see that when I zoom in, this one has 100% um, uh, projection here. This is the zone, okay? So I put the rest block here. And okay, now I'm going to draw extension. My starting point, ending point, and then you can see that my extension is only up to 61 point, which is just around here. Pi already break above, so I'm not gonna use that. Okay, so when I draw ex uh protection, uh, which is hundred percent here, I go more to the left here to find the level, like somewhere around here, right? For example, here. And then when you go to all the way to the left here, you can see that price 100% is somewhere around here. And then the high, which is, this is the high, which is zoom in, okay? You can see in the past, price taps like go to this level, rejection, rejection, a lot of rejection here. So this is my key. Resistant, okay. So I change to the red color, okay. Okay, so this is the zone that I want to sell, which is already sell from here. Since last Friday, okay. You know I sell at this candle, and then price is until here I did not close, and then after that it's reward. To my entry and then come back again. It's almost hit my stop loss, which is my stop loss. Just okay. How I put my stop loss? Actually, I go to M one or M five, just to put like very tiny um stop loss. So my stop loss just like this only. Okay, last Friday. Okay, this is how I use um Fibonacci. Okay, and I think um I. Also draw another retracement from here, okay? And then I know that around this level, there are gonna be people who buy, okay? Like this, this area here, okay? That's why my TP is here. My TP I just put here around this one, okay? After it sees my TP and then it's revert back. So now you know that this one is a base, right? You know, like drop, blaze, drop, which is um 
Lie up with 23.6%. Okay. You to zoom in to H1. This is the core base. That's why, oh, that's why when, okay, I zoom in for you to see, okay. When price it touches this zone, people buy from here. Okay. Do you guys trade demand and supply? Anyone? Uh, okay, you see here. Okay, so this is called demand and supply. This is demand zone, right? So demand zone, you see? Demand zone captures, right? And then price is revert back here. So it's just above those like 26 by 6 percent. That's why I my TP is at this area and then I close my trade already. Okay. All right. Um, let me go back to the slide. I think the slide is nothing much already. Let me um show you guys how to draw again. Okay. For example, if you want to draw, uh, somebody asked me if uh Really? Is it sometimes loud and sometimes soft? Mm. My, okay, nice better, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Cannot hear. Mm. Now you guys can hear me, right? I think my mic is okay. Yeah, better. Okay. Um, just now there is a question. Um, someone asking me. Um, with time frame. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> there is a question. Um, drawing the high time frame like H one is a part to M one or. To be honest, don't. Um, draw Fibo in M1. Okay, you can draw in H1, H4, or M15. Okay, if you to draw in M1, I don't think that's um useful. Okay, you see how to draw in. You can draw, but to so far I never use in um H1 or uh, M1. Let's say you were to draw in um M1. Okay, you need to refer to uh H4, H1 or H4. For example, like if you think that uh, in H1 and H4 is a uh, uptrend, okay, like the trend go up, okay, and then you want to like go to M1 or M5 to find a sharp entry, okay, and then you can draw like this, okay. This is a retracement, okay. Always draw from your left to your right. And then I think this I retrace about Based on my eye, uh, almost 61.8. Okay, so this is demand zone. This is I'm drawing in M1, okay? It's around this level. Um, you see? Okay, I draw from here to my, the wick here. Okay, every time you want to guide the trade, always draw the wick as well. And you can see that price captures in this zone and then it's all the way up. Okay, and you can see the market structure. You can see that price make um, higher high, higher low. Okay, so on uptrend. Okay, this is you want to draw, if you want to draw, but to be honest, I never draw in um, M1. It's just that someone asked me if you want to draw in uh, M1, I draw for you guys. But at least you need to refer to the higher time frame, okay? Okay, let me try to find the uh, FIBO conference for you. For example, let's just go to the higher time frame. Okay. 
okay now this one called fibro extension okay above 100 percent is called extension below below zero is called expansion and then you can see that price is already break our um starting point which is 100 percent is break above already and now let me do the ta for um this pair okay i might want to draw projection from here okay projection starting point one two three okay where is my okay you can see that from here right 100 percent here is light up with um i i got stopped out to be honest i got stopped out from this pair last week um I will tell you why. Okay. Because this one, I find that there is a FIBO um, conference here, which is have 100% projection and extension 127, right? So when price is tapped to this, um, like, like this area, okay. And then I zoom to the left, all the way to the left. Then I thought like, um maybe you could not really find anything here uh maybe uh, like never mind let me anyway like when it tap to this uh this 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 zone okay i sell okay i sell and then i got stop out okay i sell so when i sell here you can see that price just come down a little bit here and after that it's reverse so it's, I got stopped out from this pair last week. So is that is okay. It just part of the trading, right? So now this level is in very anymore because price is already break above. The next level where you want to see is either 61.8% retracement. And as you guys already know, we use Fibonacci retracement, uh, Fibonacci extension, okay, extension. They are used for um TP take profit. Okay, for example, if you buy from here, okay, you see people buy from here, right? I do even buy from here or buy from here. This is TP one, okay, and TP two is sixty one point eight percent, which is um. okay which is this one and like in head four i thought like if you were to do um elite wave right i thought like this one could be my like one one two and then i thought like this could be my three that's what i say from here and then i i expected this to be four and five because this i got stopped out and you guys if you guys are elite wave you already know that web three is really hard to predict right so i was thought like this is my um support right because i thought like okay one, two, maybe three, because I saw that there is a conference here. That's why I sell, right? But then, no, price is still going up. So it could be go all the way. That's why they say Web3 is really hard to predict. If you want to pay in a web, you just pay for Web3. It could be like this. I don't know where is the, um, the price will heading to. It could be here. Okay, and then this one could be like, like that. And then all the way that I don't know. Okay, that's why I got stopped out. Okay, for this, um, this um this pair, I thought like something like this, but actually no, I got stopped out. Okay, this people want to see complain here. Okay, any question so far? Okay, so if you guys ask me um for this pair, I think I need to go to like a daily time frame. Okay. Let me, okay, now 
am in daily time frame. Okay. I will draw FIBO projection from one to no, cannot. Sorry. I will draw a retracement first from here to here. Okay. And then you can see that price is currently it's at 61.8 percent. Okay. Like 61.8 percent here. Okay, you can see that somewhere around here, which is in uh daily time frame. This one is um okay. This one used to be resistant, it's breakable, but it's gonna be our support in daily time frame. Okay. And I think okay, this morning I thought, okay, to be honest, I thought price is going to Levered from here to go down. Why? Because I saw this like a. It's called what? Morning stars or some something. Okay, like. Elliot wave. Um, not really. Um. Uh, I don't really use Elliot wave to to trade, but I just like see. I use more Fibonacci more. Okay. I learn it because I need to know. <laughs> because if somebody asked me, I I know what's like they asking like you know how to learn like, Elliott Web this and that because you know if you want to study or learn Elliott Web you need to know know how to draw Fibonacci first and then from that you master the Fibonacci retracement or extension projection or extension and then you can learn how to count Elliott Web okay because they also need to use uh Fibonacci as well. Okay. So I thought like this is gonna be like um price action. I thought okay, because I see that okay, it light up with 61.8%. And then I thought it's like I forgot the name. I know that either morning star or somewhere. Yeah. I thought okay, it's gonna revert from here, but it seemed like no. It seemed like it break above already. So 78.6, I'm not gonna use it. Okay, so my next one is all the way up there, which is if my is pos possible that price is gonna come up until this level, which is um multi swing high. Okay, in daily time frame, people are gonna remove. Okay, from here, I think I might can draw projection. Okay, and now it's at 100% projection here. Okay, let me draw another retracement. Okay, I draw already right just now. And still cannot use, cannot use. Let me just put 61 point. Okay, maybe just put this two. Okay. This one is already now is at um this zone. Okay, but I think it's it might break above or not. We need to see. Okay. I think I will keep an eye, but it seems like it's going up. Okay. So the next level. Is there a divergent here? No. Okay. So let me see. We see the bigger time frame. I draw one more time, okay? Okay, now I'm drawing a retracement so I can keep an eye on 78.6. So I leave it like this, okay? And then I pick this high to this low as well. I can pick or not? Cannot, right? Price is already break above this, so it's invalid. So this one could be my first resistance in daily time frame. So you can do like this, right? You know, and second, this is your second resistance, which is like up with 78.6% retracement. You can do your technical analysis like that in daily time frame because price is break above this your you can put this at your first support, okay? And then we zoom into H4, okay? Like, 
Okay. Okay. You know, this level is at 100% protection. Okay, like this one. Okay. Like this one. Let's say if it can break above this, um, you can just put like intermediate um, resistance. Here. You see, if you were to read the candle, it tried to break this level. Okay, it could not break too because if you were the, the Sony like this, right? Okay, this is you okay if i were to trade i would sell from this area now this is very aggressive trading where my stop loss is just above this week only because i i just feel that like one two three four five six seven like candle it cannot break this level you see this is in h4 okay this like this is the zone which is is exactly at our 100% uh, projection okay like sideway in head four same like go yesterday but my view for um eu gbp um and go is still bearish because you see the xy is already at the support level okay so this is how I draw, um, you know. Okay, so now uh, this one we're not going to use, okay. It's break above extension already. So we just don't use it. Okay. We only show 61.8 there. And then this is our 100% projection. Okay. Uh, I think I draw from the... Um, the projection I draw from a uh, daily time frame, okay. Let me see this level on the left in head four. Okay, actually, this is quite a good level, though. You see, this is quite a good level for um, head four time frame. This is the one that's hundred percent which is price currently um testing okay if you want to see in the past okay you see zoom resistance back above become support one time um where is my my brush oh ah uh. Okay, like one, two, three, four. Okay, four time already. Okay, break above become resistant. Resistant break above again. Like keep, uh, like overlap around this level. Now become resistant, right? You can see that. Now become resistant. That's why. Ah, uh, where is it? That's why price is around is ranging around this level. Okay. So you see in head four, I zoom in for you to see is overlap resistant. Okay, in head four, just now I re I already defer back to you. And then is um hit our hundred percent protection in daily time frame. So pi is still ranging around there. Also divergent, is there a divergent here? Okay, you can see that right in um H1. Okay, it's kind of like very divergent form up already because um here, right? And then you see, and you look at the RSI is like higher low here, lower high, okay. Okay, uh, this one make higher high, this make lower high. Okay, and it could be in H1, okay, like, I look far, far away. Yeah, it could be about here. Okay, we look at um, M30. Okay. Uh, okay. This is how I draw. You have any questions so far? 
Okay. Uh, if you ask me what are the core of your strategies, only technical, are you trading pullback or breakout? Um, I play, I trade on pullback, a big out, not really, sometimes. Um, let's say it break out trend line. Yes, I do. I wait for either break out trend line, wait for the price to pull back, which is if the pullback have to be pulled back at the either support or resistance level, which is has um people confident as well. Okay, I don't really like trade with, for example. Like this is the level, right? For example, um, the trend line. Okay, I draw trend line like this. Okay, and the price is break. This is price break. Ah, uh, okay. Let's say price break above like this, right? Okay, one price is like back to here. I'm gonna buy. Yes, only if there is like this level is due to be um resistant okay like you to be like my uh sorry my um resistant first okay and then this candle is break above we should have a trend line like um okay if like this for example like this right my decision because for my reason I'm gonna sell right. You see, we sell. We wanna sell here, okay. And it break above. So now it break the trend line, the candle, and then it break my resistance. So this gonna become my support. I will change like this. I wait for buy to pull back, and then if there is a Fibonacci conference, a Fibonacci, which is my third confirmation, I'm gonna buy from this level here. Yeah. But if there is only breakout trend line, if there is nothing confirmation, I'm not gonna buy from there. Okay. Okay, for the okay. Go. Go already. Okay, this is my view of go last week. Okay. Now I can show you guys, show you guys how to draw um Fibonacci. Okay. Last week, even like this morning, this is my sideways since last week. Okay, now price could not break this level, which is around 1961. Okay, and I think now it's still sideways. Why I look to buy at this level? You want to look at daily time frame first. Okay, now in daily time frame. Okay, in the little frame here, if you want to draw um yeah. this is a projection I use only hundred percent. Okay. Okay. For now I okay, let me remove this. This is my I never remove, okay. Daily time frame, you draw support resistance. This is your um support break below become resistance. So this is your um support, right? So I put a support here, and then I thought that from here price could like you know reverse or pull back from this level, but it's not. Let me just remove everything so you guys can see really clearly. I look for the bigger um, time frame first. If you know to draw FIBO, you know that you're going to get the buy from this level because it's tap to 61.8%. So now you see, if you were to draw from here, and then if you trade demand and supply, this is two, another confirmation here. Okay, this is demand zone. Light up is still 1.8%. That's why from this zone, price touches the zone. And then we have a confirmation daily time frame, which is this candle. Okay, this candle is like 
um, hammer. Is it a hammer? Okay, and then probably tilt up here. So now in the return frame, this is the one. And you use um, Fibonacci combined with either support and resistance or demand and supply zone. Okay, don't trade only on PO demand or supply. And if you were trade demand and supply zone have to be first fresh zone, okay? This is the one you get the buy from this um, entry. Okay, after that, I, I want to know, right, from here, where is the price is going up to, heading to, you can draw, okay, again, retracement, starting point, your ending point here, and then now I think price is currently at 38 point um two percent, which is here. Okay, somewhere around here. Okay, now okay. So after that, I switch back to H4. Okay, wait first. I draw this is my for support, okay, because as you can see here in the lead time frame, the body, the candle could not go through, break below, become resistant, break above, become support, okay. So it's my first support, and I go to the head four. In head four, I know that this is like sideways, so I'm um, I'm not trade gold. Like, I don't have any position in gold now because I know it's sideways. Okay, like this morning is somewhere around here. And now it's break. It could not break like one, five, like around this. Okay, it's still sideways for gold. Okay. So to me, I'm waiting to buy. I'm still waiting until now. This has 38.2. 30, 30 okay. I put on top. Okay. Okay. Let me, let me. Okay. I draw retracement here. I'm going to buy at this level. Why? Because this one is my support, daily support. Okay. You also switch back here. My daily support. Hit four. I draw people at 38.2%. I'm waiting to buy from here. Okay, so now price is still sideways. Okay, from, from here, let me try to draw the... Um, okay, if you want to draw all the way like this, right? You know that this is your extension, which is the first number, the first number that you're going to watch out, which is just like this. If you were to ask me, do I going to... um. Trade if the price come here. Yes, I might because I'll tell you. Um, let me show only. Um, okay, because for gold, if you want to trade gold, you need to keep the weak area. Okay, Oop. okay, when you. Okay, when you were to draw like this, the zone, okay, you have to draw like this, okay, your week, and we have somewhere here extension, and we have this, our, you can just say either first resistance, it could be for, uh, second resistance anyway, because your first resistance is here at the week. Let's just zoom in to see. If priority can break, break here, you may consider to, you, can, you see this level? Price could not go through this level, which is 1966 or 1965 around that level. Okay, you have to draw like this, right? I just draw like this zone. It's quite a big zone because we are in, in head four. Because why you can see that price is has uh shooting star, right? Something like this. 
and then could not go through this level. So I think this is a key resistance level. Okay, you can see that price could not break through. Let's say if, if price can either break above this level or this level, definitely I'm waiting to buy here. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, I'm waiting to buy here. But if you want to buy, you need to see if there is any confirmation. Yeah, but because I, I feel that this is a very strong level. Because why? This used to be resistant, right? You to be support, 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 break, break, become resistant. Again, okay. And then break, become my support. You see, price is already going up here. So you just wait, guy, around this level or the next level is here. Okay. Any question, guys, before I end the webinar? Okay. You guys still with me? Any question? No question. Okay. I hope you guys learning something today. So um if you guys want to ask for go, I'm still waiting. Okay, let's just look at the XY. Okay, for the DXY, um, let's just see where they're gonna ending. Okay. DXY you want to draw like that in uh weekly. You can just keep draw people retracement in daily time frame like this, right? And you know that. This is the uh, weekly, which is, this is the level that you may consider to like uh, take note because it has 61.8% retracement. Okay, something like this, right? And we go to daily. Daily. Okay. Okay, this is very really nice um, pullback support. Price you can come down more to here and then go up. Okay. Can go down until here. And that if really break like support, this is my like kind of like second support here. But I but I don't think that will come like from here to here. Which is if I were to draw um people. Sometimes if you cannot draw, draw that is okay. Um, if you want to draw from here to here, let me see. Cannot. This one should be sixty one point eight. Ah, uh, sorry, one six one point eight. You see? Okay, six one point extension here. Somewhere here, which is have sixty one. Uh, sorry, it doesn't have one six one point eight percent extension. It's at um support level, and we have sixty one point eight retracement in daily time frame. So potential price still can come down here. That's why go still kind of like ranging or uh go up. Okay, so I feel okay. I feel okay. Price could go up to for resistance, which is here. You can go up until here and then sell. Because here, and then you were to look at this one. This one too can go down more. Okay, go down more to this one and then buy. I'm waiting at this area. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today okay i hope you guys learning something um so far as well let me know if you have any question or oh, i have one to show you guys if you guys already have the account with uh trade uh thick meal okay actually we do have a thick meal trader club okay you go to the uh, thick meal here you go all the way below okay you just do the or you can add the support how to join the uh, Timmy Trader Club in here. 
Okay. Um, it's my shirt. In here, for example, if you... Um, like I just send my technical analysis at the UJ here. It's something like that. I will send if there is a potential. Okay. And you see price already so fast. Okay. I just send like that prior approaching or pre report, which is 1331. You see prior the approach. Okay. And then it's revert. So I will say that like, where is my pre report, I link like this. Okay. Where is my FIBO retracement, I link like this. Okay. So if you want to talk to me, um, you can um join the uh Think Mute Trader Club. Okay, if you really have the account or you haven't, I think you should um sign up because you know the spread is very tight and the commission commission is very cheap as well. And I personally uh trade with the Think Mute as well. And you can talk to me like for example like uh hey, like uh Peggy for example like hey. Uh, where is the wait? Where is this the ad side? I cannot find. Um. Anyway, like, like, hey, Peggy. For example, here might have us ad side, right? I cannot find here on this keyboard. Where is it? Never mind. Here and for example, like, if you were to draw um like Fibonacci like that, right? And then you draw. And you link for the I just say FIBO, for example, FIBO, and then for example, you want to link, you can link here like that, and then you confirm. Okay, and then you click send. Okay, like hey Peggy, can you help me check if I draw FIBO correctly? And then you link the object like this. Then when I mouse over here, I will know that oh, this is the one you refer ring to. Okay. Okay, this I just send probably reverse from here. Okay, so if they have like the potential trade, I will send to the Thinkmill Trader Club here. If you want to talk to me, you can join the Thinkmill Trader Club as well. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for today. I hope to see you guys again next webinar. You are welcome. Okay. Stay safe and happy trading. Okay, guys. Thank you so much and have a good day. Um. Let me see if that for you guys. Okay. Before I end a webinar, could you please help me to vote if you like this webinar or not? Okay. Five is the best one and one is for me to improve myself. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Wow, got someone give me one star, <laughs> uh, two. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, I will improve myself. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to end the webinar already. <laughs> Where is this? Let me. Okay. Okay, guys. Bye for now.